art by Inked Playmats at InkedPlaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions, and welcome back to Game 3 of the match between Zombie Pod and Tezzeret Control. Corey started on the play by laying down a black deep cliffs and then using it to cast a Diagraph Ghoul, and Shower just laid down a Swamp. Corey attacked with his Ghoul, taking Shower down to 18, then post-combat he played a second one and put a Woodland Cemetery in the play. Then Shower laid down a Phyrexia's Core and played an Icar Wellspring to draw himself a card. Corey attacked again with both his Ghouls, taking Shower down to 14, and Shower put a Dark Six Shores into play and played a Pristine Talisman. Then Corey made the same attacks again, taking Shower down to 10, and at the end of the turn, he used his Talisman to go back to 11. Shower laid down a Buried Ruin and used a Sever the Bloodline to exile both of Corey's Diagraph Ghouls. Then Corey went to 18 on his turn to play a Birthing Pod. Shower played a Tezzeret Agent of Bolus and used it to turn his Wellspring into a 5 5 creature. He then attacked with it, putting both players at 13. Corey laid down a Dragon Skull Summit and went to 11 to play a Phyrexian Metamorph and copy the Wellspring to draw another card. Tara used his Tezzeret again to turn his Talisman into a 5 5 creature as well. He then attacked with both of them, taking Corey down to 1. In post combat, Shower played a Distress and forced Corey to discard a Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Corey then played a Crypt Creeper on his turn, and then at the end of the turn, Shower used a Go for the Throat to kill it, so Corey then used a Doom Blade to kill one of Shower's creatures, and then used a Tragic Slip to kill the other one. Shower laid down another Phyrexia's Core, and then played a Nil Spellbomb. He then used his Tezzeret to find another Pristine Talisman, which he went ahead and played, then he followed it up by gaining another life, playing a Mimic Vat. Corey then drew his next card and didn't find any more creatures, so went ahead and scooped it up, giving Shower the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my blog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.